I'm a chemist. I have got my shop. Boys who are working. But your delivery is a boy's attention. See, that is secondary. It is. So how can it be secondary? No, no. You try to understand what I'm telling. You try to understand. Yeah. You take my point. It's not the argument. So it's a debate. Idea. I'll tell you. See, see, the prescription is dispensed by. It is under the supervision of a pharmacist, wherein it is carried by the representative who goes and sees. He has got a software. Which compares both the prescriptions, whether they tally or not, and then it is stamped. Is he a pharmacist? Is now, he a pharmacist? He is not. Then, then what the is that? The technology is, is updated. As per the law, it is illegal. So, oh, sir, I'll be very clear. It is under the supervision of a pharmacist, and are nowhere you, it is that it is to be delivered by a pharmacist. Okay, I understood yes. that. Understood that. Are you expecting answer from AISD? Sorry, I didn't say. I no, said no. most of the no, organizations no. in our country. See, I never mentioned AISD. I am very clear about it in the so beginning we are, of the we are sitting here panel members. So yeah. I am straight question to you. Yeah, tell it's me not sir. that you don't, don't take other way around. Okay, fine. Are you expecting answer from AISD? AISD is supporting law. We have Good. instructed all our members. Good. You must be available in your shop. Otherwise, you will not be protected. That is number one. Okay. What law says under the supervision of a pharmacist? Exactly. That is number one. It is under the supervision of pharmacist, so whether the boy at the counter delivering whatever, it may be 12, 12 uh, yeah, standard pass, 12 in your size, it does not matter much, under the supervision, okay, that is one. And if he is not, then they are prosecuted, so our, our point is the same, if we are prosecuted under the law, why these people, they are grossly violating the law, they are not being prosecuted. That is our answer. So what you are asking, you are supporting us. So that is our point. If you ask me practically, all of our members, those who are pharmacists working in the pharmacies, they are all the way present in the uh, shop or not. The answer is no. Openly I am telling you. The answer is no. For that matter, we are moving the high, high court for our see, the human rights. If he just goes for loo, for 5-10 minutes, we have been prosecuted. So even High Court has accepted that. So he has instructed a, uh, this, a state government to frame certain rules and regulation for this small, you know, uh, uh, what you call, uh, going out of the shop, not present in the shop. And they are working on that. So it is a, you know, this, it cannot be a matter of debate whether he should be present in the, we are expecting he should present in the shop. You are expecting? Yes, yes, very much. There are, there are many small pharmacies who are run by owner pharmacists and most of the time those owner pharmacists are present in the pharmacy. Most of the time. Because the pharmacist he, himself is the owner. He, he, opens, he opens the shop. It's not sending a delivery boy and collecting a... Better than a delivery boy sending for the prescription. It is better than that. So it's not a debate. Most of the pharmacists who are the owner pharmacists, who are present in the pharmacy, who dispense the prescriptions, they are there in the pharmacies. So there is no question about it.